R O W D Y M O O R E. I live in Henrietta. I'm the auctioneer for the event. Uh, have been, I guess, this will be my third year. Uh, they're a great group of folks to work with. I've really enjoyed working with them, and I enjoy the event. It's a, it's a really neat thing, and it's to me, uh, it excels or exceeds what we would expect to have in Wichita Falls. I mean, the quality of the art here to me is outstanding, and uh, Every year I think, well, this is as good as it can get. Every year there's there's something a little nicer, a little f- fancier, a little classier, a little more expertise, and it, I, I've really enjoyed seeing it improve. Like most things, it's uh, who you know, I suppose. Uh, one of the bootmakers here that had been, uh, I guess maybe since the beginning, uh, mentioned my name, and he and I had been friends for several years. He'd made some boots for me, and... and uh, recommended that they try me and and they called me up and we seemed to hit it off and and we've had a good relationship like i said they're a great group of folks to work with and for uh, it it's been a success and i think that says a lot about the support that they get here in wichita falls as well as the the backing that these volunteers and and the folks from the forum and the camp do i mean there's a lot of work goes into it and and they do a tremendous job I've done it since I was five years old. My dad used to set me up on a barrel and let me sell, and those old farmers would bid like the Dickens to some little kid. So (laughs) I literally have done it pretty much all my life. I used to travel a lot more than I do. Now I'm pretty much Texas and Oklahoma. But uh, back when I was in my 20s and 30s, I used to travel a lot more, sell uh, oil field equipment, construction equipment, Uh, I've sold horses, I've sold cars for years and years, so there's not much I haven't sold really over the course of a lifetime. (laughs) Yeah, I I, I work in a lot of different venues, a lot of different companies. Uh, I'm kind of anybody's dog that'll hunt with me kind of a deal. (laughs) But the last few years I've sold primarily uh, farm equipment, construction equipment, and of course the art deal here. and these are my kind of people. I mean, these these are the folks that I I work with. There there's not a lot of people in this building that I won't know from some other auction. I've made my living doing this for well, goodness. I've had a license since I was 15 or 16 years old. But uh, yeah, I've made my living doing it for. Uh, it's not as complicated as most people think, and a lot of people don't understand. You know, are you saying something? Is is you know. And it, it's something anybody can do. It just, you know, you kind of have to work at it. But like you say, 25, would you give 30? Here to bid 30, would you give 30? $30 bid, would you give 5? 35, 35, but to get 40, but to get 40, but to get 45, but to get 50, but to get 55, but to get 60, but to get 5, but to get 65, but to get 70, but to get 5, but to get 75, but to get 80, but to get 85, but to get 90, but to get 95, but to get 100. And so you're, you are saying something from a stand still it's there's probably a little more time to it than i can't ever remember not being able to do it at least some